Hello and welcome to Waterford Libraries. This month we are celebrating Spring into Storytime. This is the library's annual celebration of families reading together. With that in mind, I'm going to give you some tips on how to grow your own reader. Starting with perhaps the most important one, pick a book that your child will actually enjoy reading rather than yourself. My husband and I have made this mistake on numerous occasions with our daughter. We've introduced her to books that we loved as children but she has absolutely no interest in. Recently, my husband purchased a beautifully illustrated edition of The Hobbit. He was so excited to read this with her at, at bedtime. And after the first chapter, it was very clear she had no interest. Her favorite thing at the moment is Howard Henry. All she wants to read about is Henry. She's six and six-year-olds are big into anything rude, stinky or messy. Bodily functions are a big hit and Howard Henry is a huge hit at the moment. The Hobbit has been put back on the shelf until she is a little bit older. Maybe she'll be interested in it then. So we have learned, go with her interests and let her decide on the book that she would like. Next, try not to get caught up in the level that your child is reading at or on what age your child is. In the library, we often use labels to help us to find books, but they are really more of a guide. So for instance, we have a blue label and we say this is roughly for children aged six to nine years. And we have a yellow label, and we say this is roughly for children aged nine to 13 years. But again, it's all just a guide. Children have different levels that they read at, and um, children will respond differently to different stories. So you might have an eight-year-old who picks a picture book, and you might think, well, picture books are for your smaller children, but actually, there's so many beautifully illustrated picture books out there right now with really interesting stories, that the important thing is that your child connects with the story itself doesn't matter if it's a picture book, board book, whatever, as long as your child is interested in the story. Children sometimes respond more to visual images, so if your child is older, they might be interested in graphic novels. These have more pictures than words, and so they're great for children that respond better to images rather than text. Sometimes children can feel overwhelmed by the amount of text that's on a page. So if you're just faced with just text, 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 it can be quite off-putting. So Barrington Stokes have come up with these great little readers that are made super accessible for readers, uh, reluctant readers or for children that might have problems with reading such as dyslexia. You can see here that the, the text is all nicely spaced out. It's not all bunched up together. And there's also some great illustrations, um, just such as that one. So these are really accessible. They're super readable and my daughter absolutely loves them. They're really great. Equally, children who have struggled with learning to read don't always associate reading with something pleasurable because it's something that's caused them difficulties. So to encourage a child like this, a great way is to actually have you read to them. That way they're not faced with all the text, they're not faced with the task of trying to understand the story themselves. They're just enjoying listening to somebody else read to them. They're enjoying the story. Another good idea is to introduce them to audiobooks. So you can pop an audiobook on in the car, or you can have it in the kitchen while you're doing your chores, making dinner, things like that. And your child can just listen to the story and enjoy the story for itself. And we have a huge range of those um, and they're also available on our BorrowBox app. So our BorrowBox app is available to all library members and you just go to Waterford Library's website and it will show you online services and it will show you how to download the BorrowBox app to your phone or your tablet and you can find um, e-audiobooks there and also lots of e-books for your child too. Another great way to encourage children to read is find something that they're already interested in. So lots of children's movies and TV shows are actually based on books such as The Witches, Matilda, The BFG, Howard Henry has a movie. If that's the case with your child, you can go and find the book and read it to them and then they'll see, oh, this is actually quite interesting. There might be other books that I'm interested in and go from there. So lots of families read to their children at bedtime. It's part of their bedtime routine. And we do it in my house. But sometimes you're tired, your child is tired. You have a million things you have to do when they're in bed and you're trying to race through the story. And your child is too tired to actually take it in. It mightn't always be the best time to encourage a love of reading. Another idea is to actually choose a moment during the day when you and your child are feeling more relaxed or better still at the weekend when there's not as much things to do. Ignore the to-do list, cuddle up on the couch, take out a book, and even read a chapter of a story, read a picture book, anything. Or pop on an audiobook in the background. 
Finally, try not to worry too much if your child is still a reluctant reader. Try waiting a few months and try again. I know my own daughter goes through phases where she's a huge reader and then she won't read anything. She went through a phase recently where all she wanted to do at bedtime was colour in pictures. I was getting a little bit worried that she'd never be into books again. Then she found Howard Henry and off we went. So it really is a case of biding your time and gently encouraging reading in small ways. You can have an audiobook on in the car. You could watch stories on Facebook with Waterford Libraries on our, or on our Waterford Libraries website. Um, and the really important way of encouraging reading is for us to read ourselves. Because as we all know, children like to copy what we do rather than what we say. So if they see you with a book in your hands, they're more than likely to take up reading themselves. I hope some of these tips will help you. If you have any suggestions yourself, please feel free to pop them in the comments. Take care.